What is up, guys, and welcome to another episode of Surviving Standard. Today's deck is called Dark Plot Warlock, where we are both a Darkest Hour deck and a Plot Twist deck in an attempt to summon one of my favorite minions from the new set, the Anubisath Warbringer. The 9-mana nine 9-6 nine death rattle, give your whole hand plus 3 plus 3 is a fun one. We cheat this out into play with the two cards I just mentioned. With the Darkest Hour, it's pretty simple. We're going to try to turn trash minions into treasure, and hopefully one of them is the Warbringer. Cards like the Eggs, Swamp Dragon Egg, and Scarab Egg. Cards like the Go Wide Mechs, like Harvest Golem and Snip Snap, along with the Warlock Spells, the Bomb Scheme, and Fiendish Circle. The other way to cheat them out is with the Plot Twist. Basically, you combine Plot Twist with one of the legendaries, Dollmaster Dorian, or the Fell Lord Betrug. With Dorian, you play them both in the same turn, you fill your board with 1-1s, one -ones, and then hopefully one of them is a 1-1 one -one Warbringer to in turn up your full hand. Bell Lord Betrug and Plot Twist comes a few turns later on turn 10, but is another way to get that Warbringer Death Rattle. One of the best payoffs for the Warbringer Death Rattle is the Batterheads in the deck. This can definitely swing the game if you buff this at least once. It has the opportunity to easily clear your opponent's board. Batterhead generally also a great Darkest Hour card because it gives you tempo the turn you play the hour, right? Especially when combined with something like Stormwind Champion. There's a couple taunts in this deck, Rotten Apple Bomb and the Infested Goblin, which have a little bit of an overlap between the Plot Twist combos and the Darkest Hour play, right? If you Darkest Hour a 5-6 taunt, that's pretty good. And because it comes out as a 1-1 one -one with a Death Rattle from Dorian Plot Twist, that's pretty good too. The Infested Goblin comes down as a taunt for after Darkest Hour, as well as providing you with minions with taunt to help you with the Warbringer activations. The Big Board Clear Plague of Flames might be the number one card holding everything together, lets us fall behind and catch up in a hurry, whether it's blowing up around eggs, mechs, lackeys or a two card combo with either reform scheme or fiendish circle all right i'm going to leave you guys with some gameplay make sure to tune in tomorrow the extended video will be online i will see you guys next time by playing both darkest hour and plot twist we kind of have a worse worse of both but we have more things right like it's weird i just keep this whole hand because this these two set up this and this sets up the uh, plot twist so Keep it all. Of course it's the right way. This gets countered pretty hard by the uh, elemental. Not much I can do about it. Like a lot of my deck is just one one, so we are gonna get pooped on by that. Eventually we can do these in the same turn. It's the right way. Earth Shock, what? Get these off of me. I'm getting beat down here, we might have to play this as a taunt, right? Okay, that clears them if we want. We kind of want to... Should probably clear them, right? Like... Must destroy. Oh, I, I guess I forgot to attack. I must have forgot to attack there. If I'm really desperate, we can uh, make maybe three guys with the coin. turn because now tapping gives us more for this I hope you like my invention
This one turned out nicely. All right, I got a batter head again. Hopefully, it's a two-two batter head, not a uh, one-one batter head. It's one-one. We're definitely killing that thing. It's a one-one. Alright, we gain uh, gain some life here. We gain some 1-1s one on the board, possibly. Another batter head in hand is good. We didn't get another Dark Sour for next turn, but my hand is quite good, right? We have life gain and uh, board clears. Or board clear. Pretty good shape here. That's again healing. We got magnetize all over the place. Should be able to keep him clean. If he's playing the whole giggling inventor Shutterwalk stuff, eh, it might be a little bit awkward, although this kind of helps a little bit. Speak of the devil. He did not hit the button. Which was interesting. This might hurt. Smashing. What we did miss was the dream of Warbringer on this, unfortunately. Hopefully, he doesn't have the other AoE. Okay, looks like we're darkest houring for Warbringers, basically. We also get Betrug, maybe. Could play one more thing. Might as well. Well, let's see here. How many minions do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I definitely need to play everything because, well, our hands, our hands gonna be completely full because of the uh, infested goblin. I don't think we tap because, well, maybe I should tap because, no, nah, I'm just running out of cards, right? I can only, uh, have eight cards left. Giggling Venom's going to be an issue because of the shutter walk, right? Like, he gets a full board of those. Oh yeah, the double mind control deck? Oh yeah, I forgot about that shit. Oh my god. Okay, well at least he can take Stormwind. That would have been bad. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of sucky. These will be pretty freaking huge. I'm gonna get mind control deck again, so dumb. Good fly. Oh boy. His hand is also gonna be huge because he has the he can kill the uh this thing here. Oh he picked that so quickly. Whatever he picked there is insane. Oh, yep. Yeah. Alright, well, our Marlocks are definitely better. We get double War Leader and Oracle. And we just win? He just loses? <laughs> 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 
Oh, that was sweet. Okay. <laughs> What is up guys? Thanks for making it to the end of the video. You've gone this far. Help the channel out go a little bit further. Like the video, comment below, and if you haven't already, of course, you need to subscribe to the channel. The extended gameplay video will be up tomorrow. I'll make sure to link it here once it is online. I'll see you guys next time.